Mr. American Idol Insider. Please welcome Tony Cowell. And we're getting emails and texts. Your thoughts, my friend, in London. You know, what you said on your blog, actually, you said it all, to be honest with you. And uh, uh, she continued this streak of choosing the absolute worst songs for her to sing. And, uh, you know, apart from mugging Mr. T for her jewellery, um, she actually, you know, she did turn out all the lights for me because she was just behind the beat for the entire song and off key. I don't know. It's she hasn't, The attitude, is, you know, has gone really strange. And, uh, and let's not forget, you know, Simon was one of the main people behind her that put her into the top 13. Yeah, we agree. You know, he did champion her cause, no question about it. It was basically down to him that she got into this. <laughs> yeah, take some so, dream, but any idea who's going to go home tonight? Well, look, you know, when it gets down to sort of only, what is there, only five left now, there's kind of nowhere to hide. You know, you sort of pay much more attention to each performance, I find. Um, and, um, you know, they're less easy to forget. However, um, if you ask me who I think should go, if it's just based on the performance last night, then then Casey James should go. But I don't think he will. See the guy I mean, with Aaron the pretty hair? Lee. He's the guy from Fort Worth. Yeah, he got the pretty blonde hair, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think he's got a lot of... Um, all right, Tony, what do you think of Crystal? It was, um, you know, it's what Simon's been trying to you know, help her or get the producers. I have to say, you know, then he was being, he was still Mr. Nasty over there. But, you know, very soon the tide turned and he's like Mr. Honest. It's kind of a weird mix of emotions for us, the viewers, because, you know, for a while he was the nasty guy and people didn't know if they liked him being that yeah. way or not. And then people really embraced it. And he's still being the way he is, you know, but now we're sad because we're going to miss Simon. So at the same time that he likes to kind of push the envelope and, you know, kind of poke people. <laughs> At the same time, we're like loving him to death. I know. It's been a weird, long ride, but, you know, it's been good for Simon and he recognizes that, as I know he's said, but it's still going to be very... I, I can feel it from here, you know. I, I feel that I should be there with him, uh, but I can't be, but...